Hey, what's up? Welcome to Live.BestTechNet, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and everything technology related. I got a question from the chat room uh, from Kevin28. He wants to know some good free WYSIWYG and HTML editors that are available online. So, we're going to do a video and we're going to talk about some decent free um, applications that allow you to create websites. Um, of course, one of the one of the better known ones off the bat is called NVU. It's it's a it's a free WYSIWYG editor and it's available at NVU, I believe, dev.com. And you can get it. It's free. It has all the functionality design, you know, to create a decent looking website similar to Dreamweaver um, and it's free though. It's not like it doesn't cost money. It's free. It's called NVU. It's based on the Mozilla Composer, um, which we're actually we're gonna get to Sea Monkey in a second, just a second, which um, you know, which is which is the current Mozilla web developing application. But it's open source as well. NVU is open source, and it's available on Linux and Windows. Um, there are many tutorials on the web where you can look up how to use it. But NVU is a good choice um, to check out. So check out NVU. It's one of the original WYSIWYGs. That have actually well, that's actually well known and does a decent job. So check out NVU. Also, Sea Monkey, which is a Sea Monkey composer made by Mozilla, um, which is formerly known as the Mozilla Composer, has a bunch of functionality and features, and it also includes HTML abilities, so you can create a website with it as well. Uh, it's kind of, what's nice about it is it's semi. It's like a word processing. Um, interface almost in, in C Monkey, and it's very straightforward and simple to use very very easy and they have a lot of details up on the Mozilla website in terms of reviews and whatnot so check that out C Monkey. and lastly actually not lastly then we're last of the WYSIWYG editors it's called composer um, composer with a Z actually a K and a Z so it's spelled K O M P O Z E R we'll have a link to all this stuff in the blog post and Composer is basically the nightly build of NVU. Um, so it's like NVU, it's just, it's the night, it's almost like a nightly build almost, where essentially it's, it's, uh, compo it's NVU with all the latest bug fixes and whatnot. So let's check out Composer as well. So it has all the bug fixes, essentially, it's NVU with all the bug fixes that they haven't released the new version for yet. If you're looking for more of a free, um, editor not so much WYSIWYG but more of just an editor of sorts there's a few I recommend check out PSP pad I actually use PSP pad um, myself um, almost daily when I'm editing um, my website a bit when I ever want to edit you know a PHP document or create a word uh, not a word uh, a, a text document or a HTML document PSP pad is awesome free too and it and it's like almost everything, everything under the sun, essentially. You create almost all these different documents. PHP, HTML, CSS, text, you name it, it does a lot of it. Check out PSP Pad. Another one I know a lot of people like is uh, HTML Kit, which is uh, a very uh, similar to PSP Pad. It, it lines up all of the, of the code, so that way you can essentially see what belongs in what grouping of the code. Very nice as well, so check out HTML Kit. It's similar to PSP Pad. If you like one... Uh, you'll probably like the other one. I recommend PSP Pad over the other ones, but it's not bad. Another another decent one uh, that I've used in the past called Note Tab Light, not Notepad, Note Tab T A B Light. It's free, and it, and it comes with a variety of different features. It's a text editor, and it has like what they call a clipbook functionality, um, which allows you to like edit numerous things at once. It's very easy and convenient to do. So, no tablet's not bad. I've, I've used that in the past as well. Uh, the pro version, um, there is a pro version, and it comes with uh, um, uh, Santex highlighting. So, unlike the PSP pad and HTML uh, HTML edit, which have built-in um, Santex highlighting, no tablet does not, unless you purchase the paid version. Overall, I like no tablet, and I like NVU. Um, very solid free applications that'll work for you, assuming you know you know a little bit of code, you know the basic HTML functions. If you do not know some basics, I recommend you check out what they call W3 Schools. Uh, you can get to there on Google. It's very simple. W3 Schools has the has 
you know, beginner, intermediate, and advanced tutorials on HTML, PHP, all different types of web languages, CSS. It'll teach you the basics, all you need to know. W3School is very, very good. I like it a lot. So check that out. If you need to learn, W3School is the way to go. You have been watching live.besttechedown, the place where we talk tech and answer all the tech questions. Of course, we're streaming live, not 24-7, but we're streaming live often. So come by, say hi. Check out our chat room, which currently has 86 people. And uh, we'll see you then. And by the way, if you need support and we're not live, you can either ask in the chat room or you can check out our support forums, which are free, besttechedown.net slash forums. And uh, hopefully we can help you there. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.